Well, hey guys, welcome back to Reptile Outdoors. In this video, we're going to continue with our countdown. We found nine species last time, and we have found seven more guys. We've found seven more species of snakes. It's been a good month. guys well this has been a really good month for us we went out every night pretty much summer and i've gone out i've gone out with a uh, uh, dale i've also gone out with alex we've gone out almost every night with summer and we're cruising different rows and we have found seven more species guys and we have found some really good ones really really good snakes in this in this episode so real quick i'm gonna give you guys a recap of what we found last month the first nine species so just check out this list real quick and then we'll get back to this All right, guys, well, the first snake we're going to start off with was a, is a really cool little snake. I was actually really shocked when we found the snake. My very first response was it was a swamp snake or a mud snake, but I wasn't really sure. I went back and did some research, and in fact, it is a black swamp snake. So check this out, guys. All right, guys, we got a snake here. I am not 100% sure what that is. Here, hold that light for me there, brother. You want me to pick him up? I got him. Red belly. Red belly. It's got a is that a Is that a swamp snake or a mud snake? I don't know. I but am actually weird. not sure what snake this is. I know it's not venomous because I know it's not one of the six venomous species we have here in Florida. But that is a cool snake, guys. I'm not kidding about that. It's a fast snake. Yeah, he is. All right, I'm going to take a couple pictures of this guy because I'm not sure what it is. That's wild. Yeah, that is a... Got me stumped on this one. Got me stumped. That's a cool little snake, isn't it? That is, I'm still shocked that we found, them, found one. We actually found two. The next night I went out with Summer and we found another one. I haven't seen one since, but hey, I've seen two black swamp snakes in two nights, and I just think that's awesome. Our next snake, guys, is a really common snake, and since we found the first one, I'm finding them almost every time we go out now. They are everywhere. I found them at night, and I found them in the daytime, and that is your southern or peninsula ribbon snake. So check this out, guys. All right, guys, we just found our first snake. There's an eastern ribbon snake right there. We just missed another one. It's the third snake we've seen. That is a cool one. Very cool. Now he knows All I'm right. not going to hurt him. Oh, yeah. Look at his eyes. Hey, He's buddy. beautiful. This is the first one of these I've seen. That's the first time you've seen an Eastern yeah, Ribbon? I just recognize it by your description. Awesome. I want to take some pictures of him and we'll let him go. Those are a really cool snake. Super common, but a really cool snake. And we find another variation a little bit longer in this video. Next snake. I've been looking for this snake ever since I started this channel. I thought it was going to be a very easy one for me to find, but it ended up being one of my hardest ones to find to date. But we did finally find one, and that is the Florida Cottonmouth. And this is a very venomous snake, guys. And I actually did have to use my stick to handle this snake a little bit because he kept trying to get away from me. But he was a beautiful, beautiful snake. He was a smaller snake. He wasn't a full-grown one, but absolutely beautiful. Check this out, y'all. All right, guys, we got our first cottonmouth. There he goes. No, stay away from me. There we go. Oh. Nice cottonmouth, buddy. That's a good looking snake right there. Now shake that tail for me. All righty. I'm going to try to get a couple pictures of this guy and then we'll move him off the road. So I'm going to watch where you're walking, okay? Very nice cotton mouth. Here, hold this for me, Summer. Wasn't that a beautiful snake? 
I mean, as far as cottonmouths go, that was a very good looking snake. Had a little bit of an attitude, but that was a good looking snake. Our next one, this one was a complete shock to me. I mean, this, this snake right here basically just gave himself to me, pretty much. I was gonna go around the town, collect some wood to build a flipping site, which I've already built. I've already had it out now for a little while. Haven't seen anything under the wood yet, but as the summer goes on, as we get into fall, I'm pretty sure we're gonna start seeing some cool stuff in this flipping site. I went to go pick up this piece of wood and there was a black racer and he took off. He got in a little tuft of grass and he thought he was hidden, but about that much of his tail was hanging out. So check out this y'all. Well guys, I was just stopping off the side of the road here to get this little piece of plywood and I spooked two black racers. I don't know if we went back up in here. One of them, there's his tail right there. I'm gonna attempt to grab it. Got him. All right, there we go, guys. There's a black racer. And a nice looking one, too. Woo! What's up, pretty boy? Right, chill out. Now we're literally right here on the side of the road. And I was not in the herping mind today. Literally, I was just going to come pick up this piece of plywood that I've been sitting here for a while because I wanted to build a uh, flipping site. And bam, there's a snake. That was pretty cool. I mean, just the way that whole thing happened, I just thought it was pretty cool. And that was a really nice and very cool little black racer. Beautiful snake. I love black racers. They're usually really bitey. This one was pretty chill. But they're a very, very cool snake. Very common snake. It's probably one of the most snake most people see. Most people see black snakes. And some people get them mixed up with indigos, which they are not the same thing at all. They don't even look the same. But a lot of people say hey i got an indigo in my yard i go check it out it's a it's a black racer so it is a kind of a misconception people get but this next snake guys this snake was beautiful i mean beautiful i have a corn snake here at the house we have one that a buddy of mine gave me that he found in his yard and she's been awesome she's an awesome little snake but this one here was a lot bigger and was stunning i mean this snake was stunning so check this out y'all all right, guys, here's our third snake of the night, and that is one beautiful corn snake. That is a beautiful red rat. Golly. That is a beautiful snake. You go ahead and pick him up somewhere. Pick him in the middle. There he goes. Oh, man, what a beautiful snake. Oh, he's pretty. Ooh. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. Holy cow, Summer. Trail him nice, trail him nice. He reminds me of Tiamat. Oh yeah, T He big. tried to bite me. Yeah, he's cool. Nice snake. Right, let me grab my camera and we'll take some pictures of that beautiful guy. Beautiful snake, Summer. Like I said in the clip, I'm a big fan of all rat snakes. The red rat especially it is one of the prettiest of all the rat snakes. We also call them corn snakes. Red rat and corn snake are the same animal. Just one of the prettiest snakes we have here in Florida. They are absolutely stunning and they are a very awesome snake. They're chill. They make good pets. That's why they're pretty popular in the pet trade. You can get all kinds of different variations of corn snakes in the pet trade. They're just an awesome snake, guys. All right, our next snake, this was a shocker to me. This one blew me away. I wasn't 100% sure what it was when I, we found it. Summer actually seen it. She said I almost ran over it. It was just a little snake and she caught it out of the corner of her eye. She screamed, snake, 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 stop. I stopped, got out and I just couldn't believe. I was shocked. I didn't know what it was at first because I couldn't believe that I actually found this snake. But this is a glossy crayfish snake. Super cool snake here in Florida. Not a real big snake, but this is a cool one. All right, guys, well, we got a new species for the channel. This is a green water snake. Oh, he just got me. <laughs> Very cool little snake. Oh, he, he, he must on you. He must on you. <laughs> oh, that's toxic. 
I think it's a green water. I'm gonna have to do some research. It's either a cray, could be a crayfish snake, but I'm gonna say it's a green water snake. But I'll have to check to make sure. Oh, that smells horrible. But yeah, that's a cool looking snake right there, guys. Some are just seen that one. Pretty dude. Pretty dude. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of him real quick and then we'll let him go. That was a cool snake, wasn't it? I mean, that underbelly with those little arrows, that double row of arrows, that's just a cool snake. And they have a really cool feeling to them. They feel kind of weird, but they're just a cool, cool snake. And Summer says they have a very bad musk. As you can tell in the clip, she got musk, <laughs> which is funny. This next snake is this. I never thought I'd ever find one of these, to be honest with you, because all I ever see is the Southern Peninsula. And all of a sudden now, since I've seen this one, I've seen three more. What we got here is the blue stripe ribbon snake. Very cool snake, also fairly common, it is a fairly common snake, just not one that I have seen a lot until recently. But we found one one night and he was just a beautiful one, very chill snake. So check this out guys. All right guys, here is our second snake of the night. That's a, almost looks like a blue line ribbon. That's a pretty ribbon. I'm gonna grab him some. Pull on some good. Is that a blue line? Oh, I can't tell. He's getting all wobbly. Yeah, I got him. No, that's a that's a that's a southern ribbon or peninsula ribbon. Cool ribbon snake though. Get him calmed down. <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. There. Pretty little guy. Uh. -oh. He did it. Did he musk you? He did it. He musked you? Uh, it's that's horrible. It's a, a good one. Yeah, nice snake. Oh, okay, he was heading, so bad. He was heading this way, so just come over here. All right. There he goes. Boy, he is fast. Lightning. All right, guys. Well, there's our new seven. So now we have a total of 16 snakes that we've seen on this channel. And... I hope we keep up with this trend. I hope every month we find five or more, six, ten. I hope we find a lot of snakes because we've got a lot of snakes to find. There's at least, from what we can tell, from what I know of, there's no true list. You cannot find a definitive list anywhere of the snake species in Florida. You look up on FWC, it says we have 50. You look up someplace else, it says we have 44. Some places say we have 46. We have a lot of different variations, plus we have a lot of uh, uh, exotic species here in Florida. But if we can find at least 46 species, I would be really happy. And we're off to a very good start. Off to a very good start. Well, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys like these kind of videos. Please leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if you like these countdown videos. Because I may even do some more, you know, some turtle countdowns, some... Uh, lizard countdowns and just reptile countdowns in general. May do a couple more different variations of the video. But if you guys like this, let me know. And until I see y'all again, stay herping you all and we'll be seeing you guys real soon.